Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Matt. Today I'm going to be doing a really quick unboxing of the Craig Pig 5 Jig, which is a pocket hole jig along with the project kit. Um, so let's get started. So you open up the contents. You can see there's a manual. There's a couple different owner's manuals. Looks like it comes with a bunch of uh, different size screws that you can use for different kits. Looks like there's 10 of inch and a quarter, 10 of inch and a half. I'm sure it shows uh, everything that's a part of the kit. Uh, I'll list it down in the description below. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. Now this is the main piece for the pocket hole um, jig. Comes with a clamp for. Uh, oh, let's see here. Okay. This is like the basics. Also, storage compartments. Yes. So you can store your bits. So you can store screws. It comes with a nice little chart here, which is cool. It shows you uh, inches and millimeters, which you can set it up um, to go along uh, on top of this little uh, storage space, which is pretty interesting. It comes with the square bit, um, some Allen keys, and some press washers, it looks like. Um, to use for the jig, and the drill bit. This kit also comes with some plugs if you need them, a little spacer block, and you can see it has different uh, um, settings for the different thicknesses of the wood. So I'm going to set this whole thing up and then we are going to open the other one. Okay, now we're going to open up the, the pocket kit, which is just basically a bunch of different screws. Um, oh. on there, huh? Let's uh, not cut myself. Bam. Okay. Put that down. As you can see, it has 150 different screws. Uh, I mean, it has 150 one inch screws, 150 one and a quarter inch screws, 150 two and a half inch screws, one and a quarter uh, and one inch, depending on what type of project you're doing and what size screw you have. Okay, so this is a project kit. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. So I'm doing this quick unboxing in my shop right now because I'm in the middle of a project and I really need this and I just received it. So uh, I really need to finish this bit. Okay. So setting this up real, real quickly. So I've used these in the past, but it's been Years. Let me see how it's set up. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, that's not the right one. So basically, you set it up. I mean, that's pretty. Right there. This, I don't know what it is, but I think it's fine. So, okay, so I'm going to try some, some 
small drywall screws. Let's see what. Okay, so I'm using some fine. That's it. Uh, I'm not going to use any more because this is going to be. Okay, so essentially is this, uh, this was set up on arrival. I just had to put these pieces in, um, which you just saw. So this tool, this, this tool can be used um, to put in pocket holes. And if you guys know what pocket holes is, is it's a really, um, in my opinion, it's a really strong way to uh, join two pieces of wood together. And it's very simple where you don't have to use um, different type of routing tools. You don't have to worry about um, uh, preparing the ends of the wood any different way. It's an easy way to to use it, or it's an easy way to join pieces of wood together, and it's really strong. So um, to set it up, it's very simple. You saw me just screw. I just used two um, screws right now because this is a temporary position where I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep it here, but I'm gonna use it real quick because I want to beat the rain to build this uh, this frame. Um, you have you set the wood, and depending on what you want to um, do, you set the wood in, and you set the height for how thick the wood is, which I need to... So this is in inches. You can, uh, you can see here that there is a um, thickness gauge as you go up and down it shows you the thickness of the wood that you're using. And the wood that I'm gonna be using right now is, it's an inch and three eighths, right? So we will put in inch and three eighths, lock it into place. We will set up the drill, so this is We have to open this kit up. Okay. So you have to set the, the drill bit so it doesn't hit the actual plastic. So this is almost all the way down. I'm going to pop it in right there, tighten this up a bit, set the stop, okay? So, when we put our wood in there, it will essentially go through it and stop before it actually actually hits the, the plastic base. Um, so to set the thickness here, you want to adjust this by pushing this button and sliding it back until it just closes securely. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it doesn't have to be super tight, but it should be snug enough that you you feel it holding it. Okay, that's pretty tight. Just tight enough so it's not going to move, right? So, screw. So, it didn't go all the way through, but the, the screw will pop out. It's probably only however much I left down at the bottom. So it's maybe a sixteenth um, or an eighth of an inch, which will push these screws in perfectly, which I'll just give you a quick example. I'm not going to use it, uh, but I will 
show you a quick example of how this works here. So it came with a square, square head screws and a, a square bit. So you just slide it in here and and it's solid. I mean, I could I could wrench it and break it, but almost every single wood joint that you can use, you can wrench and break, but this is you can barely move this thing. So it is a completely solid joint. That's why I like these. And um Okay, so that was a quick unboxing and assembly of the K5 jig by Craig. Um, I highly recommend this jig. I'll post a review video uh, about it later, but right now uh, time is ticking away and I really need to get this stuff built. So if you have any comments or questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get those answered right away. Thanks again. See you.